Okay, welcome back. Today we are working with a picture of Christian's rabbit, whose name is Bunny. A uh, little bit of housekeeping. Apparently yesterday um, I misgendered Becky's cat Mittens. Um, it's a boy. It's, I should have said he, but I think I referred to the, the cat Mittens as she the entire time. I don't actually know if this is like a male or female rabbit, so I'm going to use they pronouns just for the whole thing just gender neutral the whole thing so this is bunny um this is i mean christian has an adorable rabbit but doesn't have a very good camera so this is the best image that i've got of bunny uh let's zoom in a little bit Can we zoom in a little bit there we go so structurally it's kind of difficult to make out where this rabbit begins and ends um, I think that there's definitely head shape there, fuff on top, and I'm seeing like a back paw here, and then that's kind of fluffy tail, big lopy ears, and I think another paw there, and that's kind of all we can make out. So. And that there's a very clear sort of line there that connects where the nose goes to the rest of the rabbit. So I think if we're trying to structure this thing in terms of um, if we're trying to get this this onto the page, construct it geometrically, I think we need to start with the head. And then there's a sort of almost an equal sized, maybe slightly larger back section. So it's only a little bit larger. Like if, if you, oops, if I was to draw just a, a line that would fill in that, that area, there's very little difference between the two and then from there I can use the center of that as the starting point for that leg bring that back here yeah I think that's where we're going so let's get into our pencils guy here Oh, of course, I'm not quite drawing straight because at the moment that screen is set to the wrong display scaling again. So I do this every single time and it wastes a bit of time in the start of the video. It's entirely to do with the fact that that other screen, if the display scaling is not on 100%, the... Uh, the scaling of the... The, the scaling of the basically the calibration of the pen is wrong if it's if it's not on so there if I touch the screen there that's kind of basically the the pen is always exactly underneath where it should be All right let's So what happened there? So let me zoom out a bit. Let's let's try and fit this like properly into the image this time because I felt like we messed up on the scaling last time as well. So if we start with the head here, and we know that the rear section is going to be slightly larger there. A bit too much junk in the trunk there. Mm, not quite close enough. Too low. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. So starting from that there, we know that this sort of front section, starting a little bit below there, we have the nose, which then comes up. There's a kind of a, a sort of sort of nah. Oops. 
keep the nose in the right position and we know that this almost sort of comes down a little bit like that and then up for the underside. The ears come down about that far I'd say, maybe, no, that seems about right, that seems about right for the ears, that they come down about there. I mean, technically they go all the way up to the top of the head, but then you have a little fluffy bit there, after which it comes straight back down to here. There's like a sort of almost a flat bit before it goes onto the. Yeah. So the fluffy part comes up like like that, and then. Yeah, it comes into there. That's about right. So the underside of this nose, if you draw a line from the top of the ear to there, that's basically the line on which the eye is present. And the eye, if you look on here, if you draw a line straight down the centre of the head, the eye is just ahead of it. So that's about right. The eye has a kind of... The shape of it is almost like a kind of triangular... shape like that. Let's get that right. Here's the line down the centre of our head. We have straight into a curve up and then sort of a curve here and then a curve there. So the nose there's a little bump and then it goes up and it sort of squares off almost. There's a kind of a squaring of the head where it kind of it, it almost sort of lumps up a little. Yeah, that's about right. And this comes up and underneath and then the front comes down here. It comes down to where these pores are. Now those pores, if we look back at how I've constructed this, this circle, the elbows kind of come in from the centre of it. So if we sort of start about here, the front pores are actually sort of there-ish. This comes down into here to join it. Now we can't see the... We can't see the front of these pores because of this um, plant pot. Do I want to draw the plant pot as part of this? I think I do. I think I want to include the plant pot. So that starts just below the chin, comes out to just in front of there. So the plant pot starts just below the chin, comes out to just in front of there. This way you find out that I can't draw ellipses to save my life. And then the, the plant pot kind of ends underneath this this foot. So it's like that. Mm, except it's shallower than that because it kind of only comes as low as that. So it comes to, that's our halfway point there. And it ends underneath the center of the rabbit. Then that curve is like that, this curve is like this, and that is our plant pot with soil inside. A little lip on it comes down. Little, uh, we can't see where the lip is there, but the kind of goes around. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, I'm actually just going to. Increase this until it's huge so that I can just erase some of what's gone on there. Which has actually revealed that now this plant pot is way too shallow again. Uh, you know what? It's, it's probably going to be easier if I just don't do it all. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll bring the size back down. It's just going to draw an enormously thick line. Right, so if that's the halfway point there, uh, we know that that part is there. Welcome to Stacy Learns to Draw an Ellipse. That goes to there, this comes to here, that goes to there, and this comes to here. Ish. We can't see any of that part. That part's irrelevant. In fact, why don't I even fill in that corner? Leave that corner, we don't need it. We only need that part. And even then we won't see most of that because the tail comes down here and the back of this leg comes way down here because this paw, it's a really fascinating shape of the paw because it's sort of, oh wait, no, hang on. Let's get the size of this right. If this is where the front paw goes and the back paw comes here, we have one toe over the top of it, one toe down the side of it, and one toe that you can just sort of see there. And you have this sort of almost like a lump of fur that comes over the paw. That's a really fascinating shape to try and draw. And then this comes down and back. So the, the back of the knee is level with the back of that. So where that comes down, it's sort of like that. And then this swoops down to join it. And there's a kind of a, a almost like a hint of a leg there. if I was drawing this as a sort of like a chicken wing style I would say that that part there connected to a leg and then this part here came over mm. like that but then that kind of ends about there-ish and you can't really see the rest of it but you can sort of see the rest of the there's a rabbit paw that goes behind here. Sort of goes up into that. But that's kind of in, a, in darkness, that section. Behind that. All of this is in darkness. Um, so all that's in the dark. This, this paw here kind of just goes like that and then it, it comes up there's almost like an angle to it where the rabbit's paw meets this fur line it comes back down here and this comes all the way under to here because there's a sort of it's almost like a sideways kind of paw Ugh, that I picked a really like thinking about it <laughs> Thinking about it, I picked a really, really awful, terrible image to try and draw because it doesn't have any of the recognisable rabbit shapes in it. I mean, the head's okay, but the... Hmm. Take this out because it doesn't actually have that shape in the final thing. I take... That's kind of there as a hint none of that's there can't see this part of the plant part this part of the leg definitely not here can't see that part of the plant part or any of that can't see any of that part of the leg So in terms of what parts of the rabbit we can actually see, whoops. Um, we have that bit of par, and then that, I've drawn that as a curve, but it's not really a curve. It sort of goes down to there and then up to there, and it's almost like a sort of straight line at that point, because that's, that's the rabbit's foot stretched out there. 
onto a back leg which comes in here rabbit tails there I wish I could set this up to switch between like a thin filling in pen and a, a thick erasing pen because I can set it to go between like an erasing pen and a thing pen but I can't set it to change the size automatically when that happens which would be really good would be a really cool move but unfortunately the software can't do it whoops let's get rid of all that there is a little bit of a hint of a leg there and a little hint of a leg there but all of that is just rabbit body and it curves in a bit more than that there doesn't it, it kind of the actual shape is more like that and there's our rabbit ear can't see any of the back of this head can't see any of the back of that kind of goes to there this sort of ends more there-ish that blends in right This is our rabbit on a plant pot. This is Bunny. Mm. There's a vague hint of shading there. There's a sort of a, almost like a little chubby cheek there. So this is maybe a little bit kind of there. You see what, see what I mean about this, this section here? Where it's yeah, it's almost like it, it starts from where that that nose line is and yeah it starts from on that nose line down to there that's that's kind of that line let's go oh okay and then we'll have been drawing this on top of the ink layer so we can drop the opacity i'm going to take this one i'm just going to lock it so that i can't draw on that layer by accident and i'm going to lock that one as well for now so if i try and draw on this layer now it won't work be super useful although I would like to before I do that um, just colorize it I don't think I'm gonna do that have I up the lightness, up the saturation, there we go, and I can shift the hue a little bit more toward the blue end, cool, there we go, that'll just make it easier to, to not confuse it with the uh, the ink layer, which, which we are now drawing. I wonder if this is a slightly thicker brush than the last one I did. Um, I feel like a thicker brush would help with this. So I want to start with that eye because that eye is a great shape. I've done it wrong, straight up. You know what? Let's zoom in a bit to get it right. Because the eye kind of has a. into there. And it has this sort of vague curvature to here. And that comes straight down to there. Look at that. That's a good ear. A uh, good eye. So I was looking at the ear when I said that. Um, let me get the nose. Simples. And get this. I hate doing undecided curves. 
There seems to be a point about there where I lose it. That'll do. Just adding that there because I just looked at the image again and there is a little a little diagonal before we get onto that pore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that pore part now. And that's for a real good reason. And I think that it sort of ties the rest of the image together if we can get that part right. Because this one, although you can kind of make out where, where the actual pore is, that's sort of it. That's kind of where the that's all you see of it. In fact, I'm tempted to say it's too fluffy to draw like that because, like, look at this. That is such a fluffy line there. But then, if we if we think along those lines, that's a fluffy line. That's a fluffy line. This is a fluffy line. The whole thing is fl it's a fluffy rabbit. Are we going to fluff every line? I can't fluff every line, that's too much. I feel like I've drawn the eye too far forwards now looking at it. Why do I feel that way? Why does that seem too close? Is it actually too close or have I drawn that ear completely the wrong shape? Looking at this now, this ear sort of like if this ear almost comes down the center line of the face. Oh, I've got a thicker brush now, haven't I? This ear sort of comes down the center line of the face and in again. So that's actually that's that's not a that's not an in like that. This is more like this. This ear is, is actually bigger than we'd assumed. We here's me blaming you for it again. So this this ear kind of it almost it almost comes forward there it's like it's like that shape so if we just quickly slip back to here if I can I ink drop that color there you go. so if this ear comes to here really this wants to come it's almost like like that shape and it comes in just above there so it's like that that is the shape of the ear and it comes in just just where that is there's almost like a little notch there that is the shape of the ear and then this side comes in further. Yes. Because it's almost like it's heading in in the same and that's a flatter wider base as well. So it's like that. That's the shape of the ear. Let's get back to the this ear starts here comes in nope. Eh. Getting my express keys mixed up. So it starts up here at the top, comes in there, flattens out, and then comes around to there. That's the ear. That's bunny. Yes, it is. So. And now I'm thinking that, that that lumpy line, this bit of fur actually comes more down to sort of there. And then immediately it's back over here with like a little indent of the fur. Oop. I've got to come back here because I go on off the page. There is on this image, and it's going to come out in black now because. Mm. Oops. 
Oh, I dropped this image. So looking at this now, there's a little bit of fluffiness here. There's a little indent, no, not, not that much. There's a little indent kind of there-ish in the fur. It comes down almost at a straight line there. And then where the, where the tail is, there's sort of fluffs a bit there. And that's our tail. So let's try and capture some of that. So here, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I think that kind of sells the outline of a bunny a lot better than than just leaving it. I think that actually works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. So here we have this kind of um, that's all you really see of that and then here we have a kind of fluff down and it lifts up over that toe and comes down to there where this toe comes out from under the fluff in like that and we have this almost sort of a sideways toe here and then here you can see the rest of the foot up like that there's a vague hint of thigh which now that I say it just sounds incredibly crude, but there's <laughs> a vague sort of vague hint there of that. Um, and this sort of it's the same thing going on. feel like what we need to do here is we need to stress the fact that this part here is on the underside of the rabbit because all of this part is essentially in shade And here. Zoom out and see if that works. I don't think it does actually. <laughs> I think because we have a white rabbit, even though that part is in darkness, it works better just leaving it white. One thing that I have noticed on the zoom out though, let me just briefly hide the pencils. You know, thinking about it, there's one thing that I've completely failed to notice here, which is that this is basically a straight line, whereas on this one, there's this step change. That bump kind of hides the fact that I kind of knew it would come to this. Right. So actually, Actually, this curvature, this is a, 
Why can't we? Oh. Yeah. This goes straight to there. This, this rabbit has a essentially a straight back all the way. It's flat, it's, it's flat, it starts to go down a bit and then it curves in. That is the shape of this rabbit. But what hides that fact is just above the eye there's this lump which is essentially a kind of a, a fuzzy, like a quiff that comes in there, ends just at the back of the ear. And it goes like that. And then this part is down to there. Maybe there's a slight downward. And I think because of that, I've accidentally lowered this entire part of the rabbit. Hold on, I've got, I've got a message coming in. Ah, nothing important. So, what do I need to do? So yeah, this, look at this, look at what I've done. This thing here is lined up with the bottom of the chin, but on this version, this ends here, the chin is here, there's this gap. I've lowered the entire body of the rabbit. <laughs> Solutions. I think what we have to do let's fix it in this and then fix everything else to match it what we have to do is we have to where's the correct tool there's the correct tool we have to lasso tool the entire head and move it down How do I even know when I've got a selection in this? It seems... I swear you used to be able to tell when you had a selection very easily. So, the bottom of this leg lines up with the bottom of the head, so this actually comes all the way down to here. Edge of this leg, edge of this head, back of the tail to the yeah, back of the tail to chin is about le level. It's a level ratio. So, whoop, still in move mode. If I get a pen here, zoom out a bit. The top of the tail actually comes to there. The bottom of that, the centre of the tail. So the middle of the tail lines up with the the chin. Yeah, this is this is correct. The head's about there. No wonder it looked so weird. Right then. Let's anchor that. How do we anchor it? We have to do the same thing on this now because if we lift this up now we can see that this head's in the wrong position. So what I'm going to do is erase the line that connects it. All of this is wrong. This is just Oop. get rid of all of that, and then we're going to. Do the same thing, lasso to all the head. Is it cheating? Definitely. Do I care? No. 
Right. <laughs> okay, now we're back in business. Let's get back to that. So... Back to the brush tool, we'll go to the arrays, no, we need to, brush tool. Hmm. Get rid of all of that, all that is wrong. Turn Bunny into some kind of weird hunchback. Not that there's anything wrong with having a hunched back. But for this rabbit, it's definitely not right. So this now comes down to there, and that's that's a much more sensible shape for a rabbit, I think. It looks a bit flat now. Why is the undo key not working? Why can't I undo? Something weird's going on. Hmm. Something very strange is happening here. I've lost my undo button. Oh god. It's all falling apart today. Oh, my other ones work. Seems to think that I have a let's see if that works now. My undo history is just completely gone. I don't, I don't know why. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna, there's a thing about tempting fate and I, I really don't want to mess this up because I feel like I've done a lot of good work here. I'm just going to save this quickly. Can I do on this one? I can I do on this one? I can't do on this one. Right. If I now revert this. It'll put all those lines back in, and I should. Ah, I can undo again. Thank God for that. Okay. Ignore all that crap there. Um, in fact, what I'll do, I'll just very quickly get rid of all that. Right. So, we know that we have... The rabbit essentially has a sort of that shape. And there's a little fluff that comes up just above the eye. Yes, hello, my dog's arrived again. 
ends there. That's where the fluffy area is. We need to refill that part and then we need to get that in there. So zooming in just to get this correct, we have a kind of a fluffy part there and then this part connects to that. That's all good. That's all good. And then the final piece is to just get this plant pot in there and I have to draw a perfect ellipse. So here's the thing about drawing a perfect ellipse. Is that this is a computer and what a computer can do is make things a little easier when you have to draw something like a perfect ellipse. So what we can do is I don't remember how you do this now. There should be something which strokes your uh, ah, stroke selection. That's what I was looking for the entire time. Stroke line, line width, 20 pixels, that's what we've been doing. Stroke with a paint tool, paintbrush, emulate brush dynamics, stroke, there we go. Now you're probably thinking, hang on a second, that's terrible because it's now over the top of everything. If I now select nothing, I can come in here with this and I can just very cleanly remove any bits of that that I don't want. Um, There we go. <laughs> and that's how we get the perfect ellipse. So I can now at this point treat that as the sort of inside of the plant pot and work on the rest of the image. Yeah. So on this layer I'm going to draw the, I'm going to come back into here and draw the rest of everything. Uh, so we can just fill in, oops, just fill in where the rest of that leg is, fill in where the rest of this leg is, the rest of that paw, we can draw the soil, sort of coming up here. And this, this is, I don't know how to draw soil. Soil is just, you know, it's, it's lump and stuff. And there's some more of it down here. This is really dark in here. There we go. I think there we have an art of a bunny. Seems missing something though, doesn't it? I think it's time to fur this image up a bit. So, for example, we know for a fact that it's it's darker under here, so we can get some fur lines on here. Whoops, my dynamics are off. How long have my dynamics been off? Hmm. So 
So there's a kind of, if we, if we come on to here briefly, there's a kind of a, we know we have this line here, but there's also a sort of a darker section here. Amber's at it again. Amber, you're fine. You've got dinner, you've got water, you're fine. Everything is what a dog wants, yeah? What else do we need? We need to darken this area off here. This needs to come down more and come to there. I've, I've drawn that paw wrong. That's that's what all this is pointing to, is the fact that that paw is drawn wrong. Oops. Let's zoom in and get that right. So this is wrong. This whole line is wrong. What this line should do is come up like this and connect like that. That's where the pole really goes. Similarly, this line is wrong. So this line should go up there and connect to that. Not only that, This line should be fluffier. A lot of this should be fluffier, to be honest. I feel like I should have made the entire rabbit fluffier, to be honest, but uh, we aren't going to do that right now. That is not happening on this watch. What we are going to do is darken some choice areas that need to be darker though. Just to, oops. See, here's what I've done wrong here. I've been drawing all these lines from the top. I should have been drawing them from the underside. That then gets the sort of directionality of the fur correct. There is, as we know. darker section here. Mm. It's kind of a mucky part above here, but the thing is if I draw that in, if I draw in this, this darkness here and if I draw in this bit here, it's going to look really sort of pig penish. like there needs to be a little a little faint line just under the, where the nose is there because there's, there's a kind of a hint of that and I feel like the nose itself needs to have a little bit of that there a bit of shade just under the ear All of my work ends up looking sort of like a woodcut. It's very bizarre. Not that I don't like woodcuts. Woodcuts are great. 
but it is very bizarre how it all ends up looking like that. Um, yeah, I, th I think that that's probably enough actually. Let me have a little. Uh, hang on, I need this darkness to actually meet up here because otherwise we lose the silhouette of the rabbit. We need this rabbit's silhouette to match in with that nicely. Yeah, I know, dog, I know. Do it just to to spice up the silhouette. I'm actually going to just draw around the rabbit a bit, give it a, a sort of thicker outline where that is. You won't really be able to tell, but what it'll do is it'll help to sell the shape. There. Yes. And this. That's bunny. That's it. I've nailed it. Yep. Boom. Awesome. Oh hell, where's the window that 